right how about you everybody truck and rob coming at you here we're going to do a little gopro on a dash got the uh microphone clipped to me here and uh i usually don't do these rolling rolling videos here but uh well i saw something and uh gotta put it out there so uh i was sitting here drinking my coffee getting ready to go this morning uh right around i'm in uh franklin franklin kentucky right at the uh tennessee kentucky line headed south on uh 65 headed down to uh talladega alabama and uh so i was sitting here drinking my coffee getting ready to go i uh, did a full pre-trip on the truck and trailer and uh just sitting here just sitting here gathering my thoughts before I roll out and uh, seeing this driver come out of the truck stop here out of the pilot and uh, well he had a full grocery bag full of uh, full of them monsters uh, them energy drinks you know and uh, the big ones too the big ones with the you know the uh, screw on cap the big monster ones and uh, shit man uh, you know I've that's what we're going to talk about today is is uh are you getting enough sleep as a truck driver um seeing a lot more of these guys getting grabbing the five hour energies and doing everything that they can uh, to put in their body to help keep them awake and uh you know don't get this don't get me wrong here i'm not uh uh, screaming uh, for the ATA and, and uh, e-logs and, and uh, hours of service, all that stuff. This is not pointed at that at all. Pointed, it's not pointed at that at all. Um, this is just uh, not using your time wisely. I'll go ahead and throw her in gear here and launch us out of this down parking spot. It's all lumpy. Really lumpy. But, uh, no, I don't want to talk about hours of service. This isn't, uh, you know, truck drivers are unsafe because we're not getting our, enough sleep or anything like that. That's not what this is about. Um, this is going to be about, you know, like I just said, uh, uh, using your time wisely. And forgive the audio here. Uh, we're going to go down the road and talk about this. But uh, this is just... I don't know, I kind of call it in the booger, the booger eater category or window liquor stuff, you know. Uh, we're out here to do a job. Um, this is work. You know, it's a lifestyle, it's a job, it's work, okay. We have a responsibility out here. Um, a lot of guys, uh, you know, are spending their time, spending their 10 hour breaks, uh, not sleeping, <laughs> not sleeping. Doing other things, uh, they stay up real late uh, on Facebook and uh, you know watching videos. But hey, you can watch this video. That's okay. If you're watching this video, that's all right. There's my my shameless little plug on that. Uh, but they're doing things that that aren't important. You know, um, watching movies, uh, playing video games is a big one. Um, now, also, don't don't get me wrong on this. I love. Uh, I love watching TV. I love watching movies. Hell, I love playing video games. Um, I don't have a game console in the truck uh, because I don't like staying up all night and losing sleep. Uh, I found myself uh, kind of failing, you know, uh, not making money, always pissed off, and, and uh, sleeping in late, basically, taking a, a 10 hour break turned into a 14 hour break and a 15 hour break kept hitting that snooze button and uh, so I took the PlayStation out of PlayStation 3 I took it out I took it out now I've got a TV in here just a little small one and a DVD player and that's it and um, I'll catch the news or something real quick and uh, or watch a movie or some kind of TV series you know on, on DVD but that's about it I limit my time on on how much TV I watch um, you know unless I'm on a 34 or something like that but you know these new guys coming through here and, and uh, you know a lot of my stuff is pointed towards the new guys 
this will definitely be pointed towards the new guys. Uh, well, no, this is pointed towards everybody of uh, getting enough sleep out here. We've got a hell of a responsibility. We're in charge of a lot of weight. We're in traffic. We're doing dangerous things all day long. You know, um, every something bad could happen at any moment. A little squeaky brake there this morning. It's real wet. Uh, but these new guys are coming in here, and, and instead of you know worrying about getting their refrigerator and all that stuff set up to be able to eat, they're more worried about putting the TV in the truck. You know, um, been seeing a lot of. Uh, Facebook posts and stuff like that on what's the biggest TV I can mount in my sleeper and will a 55 inch TV fit on the sleeper wall man really you know I, I hope uh, you know you're just gonna be up all night watching that damn TV and and playing video games and not doing your damn job out here you know um, go ahead and play video games but make sure that you're getting enough sleep and I went through and I kind of wrote down a list of, uh, I looked on the internet, you guys can look on the internet too, of the symptoms of not getting enough sleep. And uh, I went down this list and I was looking at it and I was like, holy shit, you know, that's most truck drivers out here, you know. Now I get the job, shoot, I've been out here 10 years, so I get that we're going to be tired and we got to do what we got to do. You know, uh, some loads, they just got to go. You got to turn and burn, uh, especially paper log guys. Hey, uh, you got to do what you got to do. I get it. I get it. I really do. That's the, that's doing the job. If you're tired from doing your job, that's a whole different. That's not what I'm pointing this at today. Not at all. Boy, it's loud in here. This truck is a lot louder than my last one. Uh, this is pointed towards the wasting your time. You know, playing playing damn video games, and uh, you know, here's the, the the things that that you can look for if you're not getting enough sleep. Uh, I'll try to remember them, uh, but it's all online. You can look on, you know, the signs of fatigue, signs of, of being tired, signs of not getting enough sleep, and uh, it's you're you're always feeling tired or sleepy. Uh, you're getting headaches more more often headaches. Uh, dizziness, uh, sore and achy muscles, uh, that's just truck drivers, period. I'm, I've always got something hurting on me, right? But <laughs> after you spend some time out here, you get uh, get some aches and pains. But uh, muscle weakness, uh, you know, especially the flatbedders and stuff like that, uh, having trouble uh, lifting your tarps, moving your equipment around. Uh, you're weak, you're weak because you're tired. Uh, slow reflexes and responses boy that's a big one out here slow reflexes and responses that's one of the symptoms of being tired okay uh, that's a life and death type deal out here you know if you're if you got slow reflexes I mean shit that's that's most of the job is reflexes you know if the truck starts drifting to the to the right you use a reflex and you, you turn the wheel and bring it back over to the left you're constantly using your reflexes so slowed reflexes is a bad deal out here I drink some coffee there man that's some good coffee uh, impaired decision uh, impaired decision making and impaired judgment well there's another killer you know if you're tired out here and you're making bad calls uh, again, that could be life or death, and it might not be you, you know, you might run into uh, that minivan full of kids on the way to church or something on Sunday. You never know, man. Um, moodiness, irritability, well, that just sums up a truck driver right there in a nutshell, right? Every damn truck driver is uh, very irritable, uh, uh, seemingly, uh, usually in some kind of mood, you know. Um, now, granted, that's not all from from just being tired that's just the truck and struggle in general so I get it you know um, I'm, I'm moody and very irritable myself uh, I'm guilty of that one also uh, try to stay positive and uh, but shit happens out here you know and you get in a bad mood but if you find yourself constantly in a bad mood or very irritable uh, that might be a sign that you're not getting enough sleep so I would try that 
uh, try getting a, a couple good nights sleep, put down the phone, you know, then and don't be trolling around on Facebook uh, for a couple nights. Just when you park, get something to eat, and then, uh, you know, do a little bit of exercise, and go to bed. Put your phone down, turn the TV off. Uh, try that, and if that doesn't increase your mood um, and your irritability, then maybe it's your job. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe you need to watch some other videos of mine on uh, uh, Enough is Enough and uh, choosing another company, right? <laughs> but uh, I'll leave that up to you guys, you know. But moodiness and irritability, that's, that's on the list of signs of fatigue, all right? Um, impaired hand and eye coordination. Boy, that's huge. That's, that's the job, buddy. Hand and eye coordination. Your eye sees it and your hand does it and your feet doing out here, going out here driving, all right? So um, that's another killer. That's another killer. Uh, appetite loss was on the list. Um, I don't see that as being too much of a problem as truck drivers because uh, uh, that buffet line can get pretty long at the end of the day. Everybody's hungry. Everybody's coming in, getting food. Everybody's cooking in their truck. So, uh, but it is on the list. Um, it is on online. You can read it. Uh, appetite loss. It's on there. So if you find yourself just not, not hungry, not as hungry as you used to be, maybe you're, uh, maybe you're short on sleep. Uh, reduced immune uh, system is on the list. Uh, if you're constantly getting sick, uh, especially here in the winter time, and uh, you know, especially for us truck drivers, man. Um, you know, we go on these truck stops, shippers and receivers, and doorknobs and, and check-in counters, and everybody's slobbering and shitting and puking and, and flicking boogers all over, and, and, and then we come and touch it after those guys, you know, or the guys that uh, that don't like to wash their hands after they go to the bathroom, uh, you know who I'm talking about, you know, so uh, having a real strong immune system out here is, uh, is pretty important, and if you're sick, uh, it sucks. You know, we don't really have uh, sick days. Y'all know that. You know, we can't say, oh, I'm sick. You know, I don't feel good. Um, you know, after you deliver the load that you're on, you know, maybe you can take a day off or something, but it's going to hit you. It's going to hit you right in the wallet. And the part that hurts the most out here is right in your wallet. That's where it's going to hit you. But, and, uh, you know, if you're sick, do what you got to do. Go to the doctor. But, uh, you know, uh, again, that's on the list of not getting enough sleep. Not getting enough sleep is a reduced immune system. All right, getting sick all the time. So let's see if we got to go in this way station here. Uh, that blurry vision, if you start seeing things, you know, hallucinating, all that sort of stuff. Um, that's obviously a sign that something's wrong. Uh, Short-term memory loss. Well, that's a that's a big one out here. Uh, if you don't remember where you where you're going, or you're looking at the map and you forgot what you just looked at, um, it's kind of uh, kind of bad out here. You know, you got to know what you're doing, and you got to remember. If you remember that you're supposed to make a right turn uh, in two miles, and, and then you know follow your directions in there, then you know you should uh, should be able to remember that. Way station is closed. Hell yeah. All locked up. So, uh, poor concentration. That's also on the list. Um, that's another big one out here. If, you, if you're not concentrating on the job that you're doing, shit. I mean, that's another killer. It's another killer. If you're, if you're just daydreaming out here, holding the wheel, cruising along and daydreaming, um, you're going to kill somebody, right? Hopefully everybody agrees with that. Um, let's see. Uh, reduced ability to pay attention to the task at hand. There you go with, with the concentration. If you're not able to do your job out here properly, um, you're a risk. You know, you're a risk to me, you're a risk to my family uh, out on the road, and uh, that's another killer. You know, if you can't concentrate on what you're doing, uh, maybe you're not getting enough sleep. And I believe the last thing on the list was uh, uh, lack of 
motivation. You don't feel like it. You just don't feel like it today. Well, maybe you're tired. You know, uh, chances are you are tired. And uh, lack of motivation. You just don't don't freaking feel like it today. I have those days. I don't know anybody that doesn't have those days where you just don't feel like it. You know. Um, and that's okay. It's not necessarily that you're tired. Maybe you just burnt out and need some time off. Uh, time out of the truck. Uh, you know, go home. Do something else. Go take a little break. Um, but that is on the list for uh, not getting enough sleep. All right. So, again, you know, this isn't pointed towards log books or hours of service. Um, anything like that. Don't get it wrong. This is just wasting your time. When you park for the night, uh, you know, you get a 10 hour break and uh, need to hustle up. Like in my time management video, uh, wake up, you know. Uh, uh, when that alarm clock goes off, it's time to go. It's time to go and start driving again. Start doing your job out here to put money in the bank. And uh, if you're up all night playing with Facebook, uh, you know, playing video games, whatever, on a computer. Um, you know, I get that we got shit to do out here. Uh, I'm guilty of it myself. You know, I'll, I'll uh, you know, be editing a video or, or doing something that's that's on my list of things to do today. And as soon as I get done, I look at the clock. And I'm like, well, shit, I only got four hours. I got to get up in four hours and get to work, you know. Um, I'm guilty of it myself. Not not always, but, but that does happen, you know. And that day sucks, you know, because you're tired. So... Just something to think about out here, guys. Uh, you know, this is why I do these videos to try to help. Um, you know, I don't know everything. I'm guilty of a lot of things. Uh, just trying to help and uh, let you guys uh, know some of the symptoms of not getting enough damn sleep and, and, and to put your damn phone down. You know, um, pounding these monster drinks and rock stars and all these energy drinks. Um, you know, I, I'll have one every now and then. Um, but I don't live on them, you know. If you if you find yourself constantly having to drink those or you know any of the energy supplements, maybe there's a maybe there's a problem, you know, um, because those things are bad for you, man. They're 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 chocked up with sugar. Um, the ones that don't have sugar, they're chocked up chock full of, of other stuff, you know, and it ain't good for you. It ain't good for you at all. Um, there's no substitute for sleep. Then, then sleep. You can't substitute sleep with anything. There's no chemical out there. Well, <laughs> come on now. It, you know what I'm saying. You know, uh, when you're tired, that's that's the only thing you can do is, is get a tech, take a nap, grab some sleep. All right. Um, anything else is just going to postpone your sleepiness. All right. It's gonna it's gonna come down and get you even harder. Um, but hey, we got to do what we got to do. I get it. I get it. I really do. But you know, just just throw this video in there and, and uh, trying to help guys trying to put information out there uh, especially for the new guys coming out this uh, you know we got a lot of new drivers coming out here and uh, the video game generation um, is really starting to hit hard you know these Millennials coming through here that are uh, were born on the internet basically um, they were born with the internet and I wasn't so um, you know, they, they like to spend a lot of time on the internet doing other things. So, bottom line is get some sleep, guys. I'm not going to keep keep dragging this on here. Get some sleep. If you notice yourself having any of those symptoms <clears throat> that I mentioned above, um, you know, get some sleep. Try getting some sleep first. And, uh, hell, it might be a medical condition. You know, uh, you might want to see a doctor about it. If, if getting a few good nights of sleep doesn't help your situation, um, you know, you might might have some other problems out there. You got to take take care of your health. Um, but I, I care. I, I care about my truck driving uh, brothers and sisters out here. I want to see you guys be successful. And uh, all these energy drinks that are going on, it's it's bad. You know, it's bad. Just get some sleep. Put the damn phone down. Turn the TV off and get some damn sleep. All right. As per Truck and Rob, as, as your doctor today, I advise you to get some damn sleep and uh, see how you feel tomorrow. Call me in the morning. All right, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, I'm going to finish my little drive down here to Talladega. Uh, Y'all be safe out there. Uh, remember to be the professional, set the example. I'll talk to you later.